Runes of Magic is a classic free-to-play tab-targeting MMORPG that initially released in 2009. I remember back when this game first launched, it was considered one of the best WoW clones for a while, and the game is still available to play on Steam. As I've covered pretty much every other relatively popular MMO from 2008 onwards, I figured it'd be fun to go back and check out Runes of Magic to see how it's aged. But first, a quick word from today's sponsor. Have you ever dreamed about living the life of a power-hungry drug lord, but you don't want to get killed or face life in prison? Well, Cartel Tycoon is the game for you. This brand new survival, business sim and city builder is set during the 80s narco trade, and you'll have to earn people's loyalty, expand your drug empire, and dispatch your rivals if you want to rise to the top. Cartel Tycoon features both a story mode and endless sandbox mode currently, with survival and multiplayer modes planned in the future. Additionally, one of the game's most unique mechanics is the money laundering system, which I haven't seen before in this genre of game. You'll need to set up and plan out laundering pipelines to turn that dirty money into clean money that you can actually use. Be careful though, because the life of a drug lord is a dangerous one, and many enemies will be out for your head. If your capo dies, you'll need to choose a lieutenant to become the boss and rebuild the empire, making Cartel Tycoon part Dynasty Survival Game 2. Despite being brand new to Steam Early Access, Cartel Tycoon is already sitting at positive reviews and has a ton of content in the works with version 1.0 planned for a Q3 2021 release. Click the link in the description below to buy Cartel Tycoon now, subscribe to their YouTube channel, social media, or alternatively buy it from GOG or the Epic Game Store, and see if you have what it takes to be the next Narco Kingpin. Runes of Magic, very old MMORPG and one of the original WoW clones. Let's see if anyone's still playing. Choice between male or female, there's six different classes, warrior, scout, rogue, mage, priest, and knight. If I remember correctly, this game's known for having a very interesting class system where you like mix multiple classes. I'm guessing knight is like the tank melee class and the warrior looks more like a DPS. So let's just be a warrior. A few different hair options. Struggling to find one I like. That'll do. Why does changing the hair color speed my character up and make him go crazy? That's a little bit weird, right? <laughs> this is what happens if you adjust the breast slider on a guy. He fidgets. Height. Oh, height slider. Bloody hell, you can be very tall in this game. Normal height, please. Chest. There we go. Big fucking chest. Forearm. The character customization's already better than WoW. I mean, it's not hard though, is it? We are looking ripped. That'll do. We'll call him Muscles. Oh my god, I got the name Muscles. It's crazy that I got such a cool name in such an old MMO. You'd think that'd be taken. Let's jump into it. Enter the tutorial. You'll receive a handsome reward. Okay. Game's frozen. And we're off to a good start. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, every time I go to record a game, maintenance is so unlucky. The next morning. Runes of Magic, the original World of Warcraft clone. Let's begin the adventure. When it comes to character movement and responsiveness, it feels exactly the same as World of Warcraft. Daily quests, no thanks. Oh, so instead of a giant exclamation mark, Runes of Magic innovated by having a giant tick mark. Level 3, claim some armor. Thank you. The game's just throwing supplies at me at the moment. Haven't attacked a monster yet. That's level four. Okay, we're already getting some visual progression. Another package, more gifts. Okay, bag opening simulator right off the bat. 11th anniversary gasher. Daily quest ticket. That's exciting. And that's that. Let's continue. Can learn some skills already. I haven't bloody fought anything yet. We've already maxed out an ability. How? I'm level four. Let's kill some fungus, I guess. Oh, we, we one-shot it. Okay. Just running around, one-shotting these mushrooms. Unlike WoW, this game actually has click to move, though. I don't mind having click to move as an option, to be honest. If you're feeling lazy and you want to play one-handed, then you can do that. Level six. Okay. The game's throwing levels at me. Cozy little house. I wasn't expecting any actual detail inside. This is really like a budget Elwyn forest, isn't it? No, I need to kill wolves. Come on, attack. Why are we not attacking? Attack. Disconnecting. Please don't say they're going into maintenance again. All right, let's try this again. Attack. Nice. Your computer memory has exceeded a healthy level. How? This warrior class is really missing some kind of charge that generates rage so I can do abilities right away. So right now I'm just kind of auto attacking 
And then I can do some abilities after a few auto attacks. Learn Herbalism. Okay, talk to the Herbalist. Hello, Alice. How's it going? Uh, learn Woodcutting. Okay, just learn all of it. Woody Woods over here, rocking out with the acoustic guitar. He's going to teach us woodcutting, apparently. We got a number one victory royale. Yeah, Fortnite, we about to get down. The start of the game doesn't really flow very well. You're kind of running all over the place. There we go. Chopping some wood. World of Warcraft doesn't have this. Kill bears. Oh my god, what is the picture in that bear portrait? I'm not sure if that's a bear or something else. It's like half bear, half dog. It's the most scuffed bear I've ever seen in an MMO. Whirlwind. Spinner. The combat leaves a lot to be desired. The movement and jumping is a lot like WoW, but the actual combat is a lot less fluid and smooth. Now arriving in the town of Logar. Looks cozy, we got some cows over here. At least they look more like cows than the bears look like bears. Oh my god, another player. What level is he? Level 100? I want to look at him. Stop. What, is that another player? Oh, okay. Another level 100. We need to inspect their gear. Why is she so small? Ice Blade. Looking good. Transmog game is on point. I'm not feeling that staff, though. Nice silver and black armor scheme, and then you've got this giant dildo staff. Absolutely ruined. What about this guy? Okay, I see what this guy's doing. He's got the purple headband to go with his manta ray mount. I'm not a fan of his staff or his robes, though. That's a nope from me. A critical error has caused the game to be shut down. The music in this game is quite nice. Very nostalgic starting area music. Always appreciated. Oh, I want to apply for a house. I didn't know this game had player housing. Okay. I mean, it's instance to player housing, but this is one thing Runes of Magic has the World of Warcraft doesn't have. It's really surprising after all these years, WoW never decided to implement player housing, especially with how big the whole collection aspect of World of Warcraft is. You've got people that love just collecting pets, mounts, and different transmog sets. It would be really cool if you could add an element of furniture collection on top of that. I think that's something that would actually make me come back to WoW. I'm a level 10, haven't left the starting area yet, and I've already got myself a waifu housekeeper. Not bad. There we go. Now I've got a giant chest in my house. Action. Packed. Combat. I feel like I'm in the Arathi Highlands from World of Warcraft. That's what these mountains kind of look like. The questing seems a little bit less handholdy in this game than well. Like I'm actually having to read the quests a little bit at the very least. Apparently I need to set up a huntsman's trap for a quest to capture something, but my inventory is so instantly clogged up with shit that I can't see any of the quest items. Get rid of everything. Literally just everything that I cannot get rid of. Just fuck off. Next quest, kill some kobolds. That kobold has one big ass Into the kobold cave we go. Oh shit, I might have bit enough more that I can chew here. It's okay, I've got a potion if I need it. Yeah, I need it. Big damage, please. Big damage, please. We yeah, yeah. Big damage. Oh god, we, 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 we're dead. Three mobs is too many mobs. Okay, new zone, Silver Spring. It's a very murky looking area, isn't it? Is this one of the game's capital cities? Looks like it. We're now entering budget storm wind. I feel like some people are going to be triggered by my WoW comparisons in this video. Come on though, it does look a bit like Stormwind. Warrior instructor, here we go. Talk to him. Have I unlocked anything cool? Learning this class will make it your secondary class. Okay. Okay, let's be a warrior rogue. So now I've got my secondary class. Cool. Hopefully the combat's going to become a little bit more interesting now I've got my secondary class. Is the game going to crash again? I feel like it's crashing. Hello? Oh my god. Two other players? Around my level? Wow. People still playing this game. Hello, fellow... Adventurers. It's a little bit of a self cringe. Oh my god, a third person? This game's population is popping off right now. I said hello fellow adventurers, I've made them feel awkward and now they're running off. Not even a slash wave. The quest and XP pacing is all over the place. It seems like there's so many low level quests that you do two or three and you need to skip a bunch of quests to go to the relevant areas for your level. The whole game needs a complete quest rework really. 
Oh, these things are level 15. I didn't even bloody look at the level. Okay, I've pulled everything. It's a disaster. We need to run. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, I just want to loot the pumpkin. Four mobs attack me. Bro, I can't take on more than two mobs at once. That, that num mob number five has to come along. It's a real willpower sucker, this game. I've played many games that are like energy vampires. And this game is... Pff, I don't know. It's just out of date, isn't it? Maybe this game was fun when it was first released. Bit of a grindy quest now. Gotta kill 25 wolves. Super fun, of course. This is gonna take forever. I'm just killing one wolf at a time and each fight's like 40 seconds. Uh, not having the best time, I have to admit. I'm sorry, guys. I can't bring myself to play any more of this game. I'm absolutely bored out of my mind. It's absolutely just sucked the willpower out of me. I hope you can forgive me for not wanting to play any more, but I just don't really feel as though there's anything overly entertaining happening in the recording of this video. I'm actually considering even cancelling the video, so we'll see if my editor can manage to salvage something out of it. Let's just jump into the outro, I guess. So after playing Runes of Magic for a bit, my thoughts on the game are as follows. The game is free to play, so anyone can try it out. If you're looking for a WoW-style nostalgia trip, then maybe you'll enjoy this for a bit. Unlike WoW, Runes of Magic actually has player housing, so you can collect furniture and decorate your house. And although I didn't see much of it, the game has an interesting class system where you can use abilities from multiple class types. Visually, the game hasn't aged well, the combat feels lacking compared to other tab-targeting MMOs such as WoW, Rift, and Final Fantasy XIV. The new player experience isn't very good, you're absolutely bombarded by quests, there's a lot of backtracking, and you outlevel the quest areas very quickly. Inventory management becomes a pain in the ass very quickly. The game kinda seems dead now, which obviously sucks for an MMORPG. And I, along with many others according to the Steam reviews, suffered from multiple brutal game crashes that caused me to need to shut down my computer. Opening Task Manager to close the game didn't work. Overall, I scraped the surface with Runes of Magic. I intended to play longer, but the boring combat, bombardment of quests, and inventory being flooded with junk drained my willpower so much and so quickly that I couldn't bear playing for longer than 30 minutes at a time. Don't take this video as a review. Maybe there's some cool stuff waiting at endgame and some unique features the game might have, but I don't know. For me, after two hours or so, I just felt done with the game and considered scrapping this video multiple times during the recording. But that's it for this video, guys. As always, let me know your thoughts on Runes of Magic in the comments below. What are the best aspects of this game for those of you that managed to reach endgame? I'd be interested in reading your thoughts and get educated on what made this game special. Shout out to Exilag for helping me improve my ping during the recording of this video. Click the link in the description below for a discount. Social media links on screen. Thanks for watching. I hope you all had a successful day and I'll see you again really soon.